Hi guys, here we have a home build QRP antenna tuning unit. Uh, it consists of a variable inductor and a variable capacitor. Uh, the SWR is suggested by uh, setting the switch in uh, SWR mode and then adjusting the uh, combination of the inductance and the capacitance and the in SWR is indicated by an LED so once the uh, SWR, lowest SWR has been set the switch is switched to operate uh, one thing peculiar about this ATU is it's got a selector switch for a low impedance and a high impedance so at the back you have two output connections that's uh, BNC for a uh, low impedance and a screw on uh, connector for a uh, high impedance and uh, BNC for the input to the uh, QRP transmitter and a ground uh, connection oh, let's have a look inside so inside we will find an inductor with uh, several taps this is selected by the uh, selector switch and a variable capacitor now on the other side you can find a bridge circuit and uh, to illustrate uh, in a bridge circuit you have three known resistances this is uh, 50 ohms and the X is the uh, supposedly uh, antenna impedance so in theory if all the resistors are equal no current should be flowing uh, in the middle circuit so uh, when you adjust the uh, inductance and the uh, capacitance as you approach uh, 50 ohms the current flowing in the middle will approach uh, almost zero uh, one thing peculiar about this ATU is it's got a selector for a low impedance and a high impedance the switch uh, converts the uh, inductance and capacitance into a series resonant circuit for low impedance and to a, an L match on a high impedance uh, here's another view on the inside the inductor with the taps selector switch to select the uh, number of turns on the inductor and uh, a variable capacitor on the left is the uh, resistive bridge circuit uh, the PNC input and the uh, low impedance and high impedance uh, output connectors Okay, so there you have it, a homebrewed QRP ATU.